Hi, Karen Taylor here with Blue Canoe and the Color Vowel Chart. Today we're going to look at Blue Canoe's basic setup so that you're oriented to how the app works. So Blue Canoe is organized around a daily plan called Today's Plan. You'll want to complete that plan every day so that you get in that key 10 to 15 minutes of practice per day because this helps you form positive habits for effective speaking in English. Down along the bottom, we have the home page where we are. Then under browse, you can view all of our games and activities down below. When you scroll through our lessons, be sure you know you can scroll sideways to look at the subtopics and you can scroll vertically to look at the main topics. So to receive credit, you're going to see a green circle next to the activity showing that you finished it. And that means completing either the game or the lesson uh, completely. Okay? When you achieve all three completion dots, you'll receive a green dot for that calendar day. Now go to Color Vowel to visit the Color Vowel chart and to review and practice each of the key sounds. And I'm going to show you what I recommend doing. Watch me. Green T E. So that first time I was just listening and using my hand, then green, green T E. And then green T E. Green T E. Repeating. So that's a three-part practice of listen, speak with the recording, speak after the recording. That's a really good way to warm up, uh, or you can choose just one of those strategies for your warm up. Here in the dictionary, you can look up any word of English. What I like about the dictionary is that it keeps a record of words you've recently looked up. So you can scroll back through that history and find that word that you were looking for. We underline the stress syllable, like always. We provide you with the color vowel and with a pronunciation of the word. What you can do when you're looking at a word like this is press the color vowel. A cup of mustard. Ah. Uh, lumber. Lumber. Okay. Then you can speak with it. A, a cup, cup of mustard. Ah. Uh, uh, lumber. 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 Then I can listen to the word and repeat. Lumber. 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 Remember that your hand is so important because when you extend your arm and open your hand, you're creating the amount of time on the vowel sound that we need in English and that listeners expect. So always use your hand when repeating. Under the more category, finally, you will find some additional features. This is where all of our quizzes are. Those are a lot of fun, by the way. So you can complete a quiz uh, whenever you want to, but also know that you'll see these in your daily plan. Similarly, these are our videos. You can watch any of my minute long videos learning about a different feature of pronunciation and spoken English. Uh, down here, I focus on specific vowel sounds. And you'll also see these in your lessons whenever you receive feedback, okay? Uh, finally, this is the original lesson that you completed when you started Blue Canoe. So it's nice to go back to this every once in a while as a kind of review. You can go here to your profile and you'll see the past 30 days or so, the past month, and you'll view your completion rate. You can see here that I played and completed my daily plan on Tuesday uh, back here. And now it's been two weeks since I was really playing every day. Uh, ideally for you though, you'll see all green because you are practicing every day. Here on the homepage, if you run into a difficulty or you have a question, or if you want to say something good about Blue Canoe, you can press on this little contact feature and when you select any of these, let's say I have a suggestion, 
it will automatically open an email with a data shot so that we can hear from you easily. Just write your message and we'll be very happy to hear from you and you'll hear back from us quickly. Okay. And so that's the organization of Blue Canoe. And in my next video, we'll look at some of the activities.